Hey y'all, last night on the farm, tropical storm Nicole came through, dropped a little over an inch of rain, we got some wind, still got a little bit of wind blowing around. So we can't get in the field and continue to cotton harvest, but there's still plenty to do. I'm out here in a pecan orchard. We've been slowly harvesting the pecans, but all that wind and rain hopefully put a lot more nuts on the ground so we can continue to harvest. We've already started taking some to the sheller, so we got pecans that need processing. And that's what this video is gonna be all about, us processing these pecans and getting them ready to sell. My pecan trees are Excel. That is a variety I grow. Excel's my main variety. I have a pollinator variety called Eclipse, but most of my trees are Excel. And the reason I grow Excel pecans is because they are currently scab resistant meaning they don't have to be sprayed for scab. I don't have any scab issues. My nuts grow pretty well without much maintenance at all. I do a kill strip along the row here, but I'm not spraying fungicides and pesticides in these trees. These trees are all natural. We don't spray chemicals up on our nuts. Most commercial pecans are sprayed with a lot of fungicides, some pesticides, a lot of different things to keep those trees in optimal production, but mine are not. I don't spray stuff on this, these pecans because they're gonna go on your Thanksgiving table. These nuts are gonna be on top of your pecan pies and I, I wouldn't feel good about putting a bunch of chemicals on them. That's why I chose this variety. This variety doesn't need a lot of spraying. It's a little bit more of a bulletproof variety. These trees are young, as you can tell. They're just now entering their uh, production stage. But looking forward to a good harvest this year and hopefully selling you some pecans. My orchard only has about 350 trees in it, and they're still pretty young. Some of them are about twice the size of these right here, but they're all still pretty young. So I haven't started invested heavily yet in mechanized harvesting maybe in the next year or two we'll start having some uh actual harvester that you ride on or pull with a tractor operate but for now it is all still manual So what we're going to do first, we're going to put them on the scales here and get a weight of them in the shells. And then once we shell them out, we'll weigh what we got out of the shells and we'll know how much kernel turnout we got. So he's got a, he's got a sorting table here. He puts these nuts on here. And if there's anything that didn't get cleaned out, it'll fall through to the floor here. The nuts slide down into the bucket. pecans now and we got them in these paper bags you don't want to put them in plastic anything just airtight or zipped up you put them in this paper because as you can see the little bit of oil sucking through they're, they're oily when you first shell shell them out you don't want a mold issue so you gotta let them breathe a little bit so you put all these pecans in the paper bags let them breathe it'll take me a, a little while to get them processed and if i had them all zipped up in ziploc bags we might run into a mold issue 
109.4. We bought how many bringing? 200? 200. 213 pounds. 213 pounds in the shell, 109 and a half out of the shell. Hey y'all, if y'all have some pecans that need shelling and you're in Southwest Georgia or lower Alabama, come out here and see Nutty Buck. He's right outside Fort Gaines. You can't miss him. Uh, I believe, you, is you, your phone number on the sign out there? Yes, it is. Phone number's on the sign. I showed y'all, this. I got a little clip of it. Call him. He'll be glad to shell your nuts for you. He does a good job. Got a nice facility. Check him out. Good, there we go. Well, that's it for today's video. You've seen them go from the tree to the end product. Thank all y'all for watching. See you next time.